Hello, everyone. I'm coming on today to um, show you another item that I've made for my upcoming craft fair. And it's these cute recipe books. And um, I love doodle bugs, so this is a doodle bug collection. I bought all the stuff to make these like three years ago. <laughs> and every year I just... I get so busy making the other things that I just think, oh, I don't have time. So it took me all week, but I worked. Um, the minute I got off work, I came home and would work on these. I made 20 of them, so it took me quite a while. But it's been so fun. Can you hear my dog? She's itching, and so she's groaning. Anyway, um, I made 20 of them. And I don't know if, how well they'll sell. It'll be interesting. But because, you know, I know a lot of people, they don't even use recipe books anymore. They just keep everything on their phone. But personally, I like I like to have things that I can touch and look at without having to go to my phone. So I got the idea for these from Natalie. And on YouTube, she has put some bling on it. She, she had made one of these for uh, her friend. And she has a video on how she made it. Mine's just a tiny bit different, but but they're very similar. Um, let me tell you what if you make if you make these what you cut these as. Uh, let's see, it's okay. This is six and a half by. Let's see, six and a half length. And four, okay, so six and a half and four and a half. And for the cover, this is just laminate. And then I just sprinkled. I'm just, you know, instead of keep, instead of me keep saying, I, this is what Natalie did, this is what Natalie did. You can watch her video if you want. I'm just going to explain what I did. But a lot of these ideas came from Natalie. So thank you, Natalie. She's very creative. I love her channel. If you have not been to her channel, you need to go look. And I will put the link to her channel in my description box. So anyway, um, so, hey, quiet. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs. So this is the cover. It's... Like I said, I just got a piece of lamination paper and then I sprinkled these little star glitters, sprinkles in here, and then laminated it. And that's the front cover. And then these are the rings from Happy Planner. I have a ton of these. I need to put, I have the small ones in my Etsy shop, but I need to put these medium sized ones in my Etsy shop too. Um, and then here's. Here's the dangle charm. I need to turn this one around. I just put, this is just a little cute bead and then a flower. And then I had these in my stash. It's a mixing bowl. Can you see that okay? Isn't that cute? And then I have a bunch of these chains. And so I just put it on there. But see, I need to turn the charm around because when it's like this, the charm is backwards. So I need to turn that around, which I will do. This is actually... Um, going to be my sample one that I have on display at my craft fair and I'm just going to tie it to my shelf um, with a paper that says because all the others I put in cellophane and wrapped them up because I you know I don't want 1500 people flipping through these because they'll just get ruined so this will just be on display as the sample and every one of them is different as far as the paper goes but they all have the same contents okay so for the cover i just took some of the cutouts that go with the collection and and in a few spots i ran out of the collection so i just used some other doodle bug that i had in my stash but i just think their cutouts and their papers are so cute i just love how they have the kawaii faces on everything <laughs> those are so cute the apron is one of my favorites so this is the the first section and then this is what i did different from what natalie did these are the target adhesive pockets that you can get um 
when it's when school is starting and then these are just tags from the collection so i cut them out aren't they cute and then i just put some string on them and then i just thought they'd be cute in here and then i just kind of let the string hang out the top so that when it's shut you can see the strings okay and then this is a bookmark so this comes out and i just took some of the stickers and laminated them this this is one of my favorites too so the apron and this one this is how you can tell this is mine because it has two of my favorites but see you can just take these out and mark your page if you want and then it just put it right back in there and then these recipe cards actually came with the collection this collection is called made with love and um, there's three sections and each section has five recipe cards and I'll show you what their cards look like aren't they so cute I just love the designs so here's the recipe and then on the back is are the directions where you write that and so there's that one that one there's my favorite okay so that's the first section and then here's the next section you sprinkle the world with happiness so every single recipe book all these are going to be different and then here's this one i used the cookie sheet and a whisk and then isn't this cute this page and then i had i have a ton of these in my stash because i'm going to put them in my etsy shop and i just thought you know it looks like a peppermint candy and i just think it matches really well so i put that in there and again it's got the five recipe cards okay and then this is you're the greatest isn't that cute <laughs> and then i love you beyond measure and five more recipe cards and then um i had this acetate so i cut it and then i put a sticky notepad on here and a pen so that if you're going to make bake something or i guess it doesn't necessarily have to be desserts you could use you could put casseroles in here and anything you want but here's a little sticky note so that if you need to make a grocery list and then this is just a clip and i and i have a really nice pen in there and it's clipped with the back to make it more sturdy and then the back is another piece of the laminate with the stars and you can see i'm selling these for twenty dollars so anyway i just couldn't wait to come on and show you how cute these turned out it'll be so fun to see if they sell if not then i will put them in my etsy shop but i think they'll sell personally but you know we always think our stuff's cute and then when it doesn't sell then we go oh okay <laughs> so <laughs> i'll let you know how it goes on these but i i'm excited how they turned out it was a fun project really fun and very satisfying just and seeing all 20 of them laid out on my table was just, oh, it just made my heart smile. So thanks for watching and come back. I have a lot, a lot more items to show you for my craft fair and have a great day. Bye for now.